hey guys it's phase one once again with another video hopefully you guys are all doing well uh star citizen 3.16 i'm um, just dropped uh not too long ago uh so i kind of wanted to do this video just to give you guys an insight on some of the things that came it came with um uh, that way you guys have an understanding of what to expect into the patch all right if you're new to this channel make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and um give this video a like as well all right so let's get right into it it's just going to be a high level understanding of some of the things that we're going to be getting into the, in this patch um just to let y'all know this is more so a, a a bug fix patch but there are a few features that i i kind of i'm really interested in uh sharing with you guys all right so let's get right into it all right so i'm gonna leave the link to the patch note itself just in case you want to read it yourself uh in the description below right so just look out for that um the trailer is there the trailer is already on the cig website so you can check that out um so jump jump town 2.0 big 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 feature um that i think everybody should get involved with right so dynamic event jump town 2.0 316 welcome star citizens latest dynamic event jump town 2.0 cross stanton so three drug factories one classic two new are working overtime offering enterprise citizens the opportunity to make a fortune be careful though it is not a leisure grab and go hauling job so there's going to be a lot of lucrative um commodities generated at these locations and um players are going to essentially be fighting over these um and if the more you can get the more money you can make essentially so um a lot of a lot of orgs a lot of groups of players are going to be really fighting um once these events uh pop up i'm not exactly sure what it's going to look like in game but it's, it's going to be more so a mission that will pop up so just look out for that it's going to be really excited i'm really excited to get get into this as well with with the org as well so uh just to let you know um we do have an org it's called phase one industry so check us out if you're looking for an org all right so that is essentially what this event is um dynamic event is really really good so look out for that all right um the cutlass steel is a new um variant of the cutlass the drake cutlass and uh it's essentially coming out um to go along with jump town too so that you could fill it up with i think 18 um i think there's 18 seats in it and it has a whole bunch of turrets and guns on it as well so it's really cool to uh to have a new shipping game as always so if you're ever interested you can also check that out in the patch um one feature that i'm really excited about is i didn't think this is going to make it the derelict ship puzzles i didn't know that this was actually going to make it in this patch um so it says 316.1 oh interesting so this is going to come in 316.1 i thought this was i don't even know why they had this in the video then they shouldn't even have this here until it actually drops but that's okay so in 316.1 hopefully it drops very soon i think probably after the holidays actually um but you'll be able to go to these derelict sites and you'll be able to um find interesting loot what makes these play these places um new is that they are puzzles as well as there's there's some elements of danger right so there's going to be some trip mine trip mines in there you're gonna have to figure out how to deactivate them or get them destroyed in order to access the loot that's going to be in these locations so i'm really excited about that this is this is a nice rudimentary entry entry into exploration and I, i'm really uh, excited about that so can't wait for 316.1 all right um grab lev rework so those that do own bikes um this is awesome this is fantastic i think everybody in star citizen should get a bike um i did get a chance to test this out in the ptu and it was perfect it was awesome so you guys should definitely check that out right in addition to that bounties are now going to be in atmosphere Woo, man so in addition to the space the the asteroid belts and the the asteroid fields that these bounties spawn in there's also going to be some that are going to be spawning in atmosphere so this is it's going to be really fun i, I did this in a ptu in a couple videos ago and it was very interesting it changed the dynamic of combat and it's really really fun to be able to um fight npcs 
in atmosphere so uh this is definitely uh something you guys should look out for and um i'm really excited uh, to get into this myself right um area 18 hospital is just a new one um to new hospital being added to area 18 finally um i do have a video where i did check it out in the ptu so also look out for this it's a really cool little hospital as well all right um the law system improvement so this is more this is more so to allow players that are in parties not to get crime stats right away just in case they accidentally hurt uh shoot each other um due to friendly fire all right so that's essentially what this uh feature is right now and dying star update is um the arena commander map that has recently be updated it's meant to kind of have give you a little insight of what pyro is going to be looking like once we get our hands on pyro um i'm going to be testing i'm going to be testing it out a little bit more just to see how it feels and to fully explore the environment now that it's live all right so that is essentially it there are i believe there are some ship sales where you can buy the a2 i think and some ground vehicles as well as the cutlass steel drop ships as well uh to go along with the jump town events as well so yeah man so that is uh 316 in a nutshell just wanted to give you quickly give you guys a high level on what it is and what to expect and uh yeah get get into the verse if you haven't already um subscribe to this channel and uh hopefully i'll see you on the next one